Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Scott with the Scott Man. We're here to do a driving video today. We are going to be driving the entirety of West Outer Drive today. More about that after after this traffic light. So off to a great start already. Oh, never mind. Just turn green. <laughs> so we'll be anyway. So we'll be driving the entirety of West Outer Drive from where it begins at Jefferson Avenue here in E Course, and we'll head all the way to uh, Livernois Avenue. Up in the like the northwest side of Detroit, so you can almost consider this to be like a part two video. The reason why I say that is because I filmed a video on East Outer Drive, I think two or three years ago. I can't remember when I did that, but it was the, the stretch of Outer Drive that's north of Detroit and then goes all the way over toward like Jefferson Avenue over on the east side of Detroit. So, Outer Drive is kind of like a loop around the city of Detroit, and it's mostly in the Detroit city limits. However, there's parts in along West Outer Drive which is not in Detroit, such as this here. Like, because yeah, right now we're in the the city of E Course, and we'll be going through some of the different suburbs too before we get into the Detroit city limits. Like, we'll be going through like Allen Park, Lincoln Park. And then eventually get into the Detroit city limits. But it is a beautiful morning out today. Like no clouds in the sky, although there's some haze this morning. And it's not too cold out either for early February. My current thermometer is reading 34 degrees Fahrenheit. If you convert that to Celsius, it's one degree. And it's not even lunchtime yet, so. But yeah, this is my uh, first video of any kind, which I filmed since I got back from my Houston trip. And like the crazy, crazy thing is, this is the best weather on the weekend we have seen since I've been back because it's been very, very cloudy the entire time. Let's just say things have been very depressing here because of all the, all the clouds, and we're finally getting a nice sunny weekend. Not only that too, but pretty warm. So, so we'll have to stop here at the light for Fourth Street or M85. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm not doing a video on Fourth Street today because there's especially on the southbound lanes they're doing a lot of road work. And unfortunately, I'm pretty much stuck here because it, there is a bunch of traffic one lane to the right of me. So yeah, I don't wait for this car. Yeah, this is one interesting thing about Outer Drive is that this is one boulevard, well, mostly boulevard, where you can make left turns from. You don't have to do those Michigan lefts most of the time on this road. And here's the interchange with I-75. Of course, I-75 North going into downtown Detroit, I-75 South heading down to the other down river, down river communities and then eventually down to Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, it's very likely, likely we're going to be hitting a lot of traffic lights in this video. Heck, because I, I had to drive on Outer Drive off camera to, to get over to where I started this video. Man, terrible luck. I, I need to get out of this left lane, but if only if the traffic clears up in the right lane because there's a lot of cars in the middle. And I'm my way over here, but then the drive on Outer Drive from the Southfield Freeway over to where I start. I hit every, almost, or just about every traffic light. So yeah, right now we're kind of like in the in the Lincoln Park area now, and it looks like my traffic light streak of hitting every red light is going to continue, unfortunately, going west. Yep, and then crossing over Toledo Road, we're now entering the city of Melvindale. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been in Melvindale. It's like, because, yeah, I remember doing like a driving tour in this area. I think along with E-Course and River Rouge. I think I can finally get over in the in the middle lane here. So, 
so yeah, for the most part with Outer Drive, it's mainly a, I don't want to say residential road, it's not a residential road, it's just a secondary road serving residential communities. Although when we get over to the area near the Southfield Freeway, we'll be getting to a little bit of a shopping area. After this overpass here, we're now at the intersection with Allen Road. Which, yeah, it's pretty nice that Allen Road comes up this far north, and we're making traffic lights this time, so that's so that's good. So it's now looking different than what I had to deal with. Heading over to where I started this video. This is Fairlane Green, which is, you got a huge shopping area over here. You got a bunch of different department stores, a lot of restaurants. So yeah, right now, we're technically in Allen Park now. I don't recall seeing a sign for it, but yeah, this is Allen Park in here. And yeah, there are even more department stores over here too. Like I see Joanne Fabric and Crafts. I see Petco, Applebee's, Lowe's, Aldi. Even a, a crafty crab seafood. If you do want to get over to I-94, though, you can, like, this is the interchange with the Southfield Freeway, so you can easily make a left turn at the Southfield Freeway, get on the freeway, and then you get over to I-94. Cold for a week in January, 
and then it just warmed back up and melted everything. You just can see maybe some lingering snow piles, but that's about it. Oh yeah, we make a right turn, that's Village Road, and that takes you over to Rotunda Drive, and that's the general area you can, if you're looking to head over to the Henry Ford Museum, you can get over there by taking that road. Although you can also turn up here at Monroe Street. That eventually can hook you over toward, I believe, Oakwood Boulevard. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get lucky with this light, though. Or maybe we will, because it just turned green. <laughs> So what I was talking about, yeah, it's, yeah, this winter has been mostly mild, but I know it's like a strong El Nino this winter, so this is not entirely surprising. Yeah, we're getting, getting unlucky with this light. I'm going to go ahead and get over it. Someone, I think, ran the red light. So yeah, we'll continue. It's like, yeah, January was, except for like one to one and a half weeks, it was kind of mild, like above average. However, it was very wet, the, where we had a lot of, we had a lot of snow, I would say, even though the, it rained, and also a lot of rain, too. So I believe, yeah, before I saw it, yeah, Detroit had its wettest January on record. So... So let's just say it's like that's not common for a strong El Nino because normally it's supposed to be mild and dry. This upcoming week is going to be kind of like that though. But where it was mostly warm, it was very wet. And right here, this is Michigan Avenue or US Highway 12. So this is a major highway here and I'm really surprised I did not have to stop at that light for Michigan Avenue. Not complaining though. I do have some offices over here by Michigan Avenue. <clears throat> but yeah, now we're getting into back into like the residential areas a little bit. And we're about to go over or we're about to pass up Dearborn High School. So to the right, that is Dearborn High School, and looks like we are going to have to stop at this light, on, unfortunately. And quite a bit of traffic out for a Sunday morning. If I'm not mistaken, I believe we're in one of the oldest areas of Dearborn. Like over here by Dearborn High School. And uh, this light here, this is Cherry Hill Street. Which Cherry Hill, take that west, they'll take you out toward like Garden City, Westland, eventually out toward Canton. And Outer Drive becomes a boulevard once again here. Now it looks like the traffic has lightened up a little bit, but a few cars are turning at Cherry Hill, so that's probably 
it. So that definitely helped. Okay, so here's where things get interesting. So to continue on outer drive, we're, we will technically need to make a left turn. The, right here, this is, if you go to the right, that's Military Street. So for outer drive, we have to make a left turn and just stay in the left two lanes. Because yeah, if we were to continue straight that way, that turns into Gulf View. It is a shortcut though, if you're looking to go east on Ford Road, which is the next major highway we're gonna be coming up to, that is a nice shortcut you can take. But to continue on outer drive, we, yeah, we had to make a left turn at that intersection and continue along this way. It's like, yeah, all these duplexes over on the right, they look pretty much identical. Well, for the most part. There's some, some slight differences. I think I could go ahead and get back over. And we're about to approach the intersection for Ford Road or M153. So this is another major highway which goes through the, the Dearborn, Dearborn Heights area. Fortunately, we didn't have to stop for very long. Yep, and then crossing over Ford Road, we are now in Dearborn Heights. So what's cool about Dearborn Heights is that it's almost like, it's shaped like the letter C because it, it's like a, it's trying to eat up the city of Dearborn. If you look, at least that's how it, how it looks if you're looking at Dearborn and Dearborn Heights on the, on the map. Look, you have some huge mansions off to the left there. And then, and then some, some large homes, but maybe not so much mansions over here, but some, some definitely are mansions, so. Quite interesting, I have to say. All right, and we are coming up to Heinz Drive. Yep, Heinz Drive is a very scenic road which goes along the Rouge River, and there are a lot of beautiful parks along Heinz Drive. Speaking of the Rouge River, we just went over it now. Yep, crossing over Heinz Drive, and then this is Ann Arbor Trail, which over in this area, it runs parallel with Heinz Drive. Now I'd say this is where Outer Drive, even though it kind of has been mostly residential, but I think the rest of the way is going to be kind of like this. heads east over to the city of Detroit but also like over to Midtown over by where Wayne State University is. Alright and we are now entering the city limits for Detroit. And we got lucky with that traffic light back there. Kip, so we are not only in the city of Detroit now but we are now in Rouge Park. So believe it or not, this is the largest, this is actually the largest park in the city of Detroit. It is, so Belle Isle is not the largest park, even though it's the most famous and the most popular one. But Rouge Park is technically larger in size than Belle Isle. I'm gonna go ahead and get over this. Let's see. This left lane here seems to be a little bit cleaner, although I gotta be careful. Those, I saw a couple of rocks over there. But yeah, really. 
Really nice park space, I have to say, although it's got not much going on here. Okay, that's, that's good. The road looks like it's going to get a little cleaner because it's very dirty. And, not dirty, but more like dusty. So pretty much for the rest of this video on our West Outer Drive, we will be in the Detroit City Limits. Yeah, this is quite the contrast from what we were on, or when we were on Outer Drive further back, like back down the Dearborn and Allen Park area. See, so yeah, for this park, what I've been seeing along in here so far is it's primarily like just walking trails. But hey, it's a lot better than stopping a bunch of traffic lights. And yeah, right here we're going over Joy Road. Be curious what this looks like during the warmer months when all the leaves are in the trees. A little, some flooding over there. Although, because it got pretty cold last night, that's the floodwaters over there like completely iced over. Yeah, we've been driving through this park for at least a few minutes, and you can tell it's pretty big because we're still in the heart of the park right now. And we have a goose in the middle of the road here. Oh, wait, no, oh no, oh no, oh no, those are turkeys. That's not a goose. Okay, so to continue on outer drive, we have to make a left turn here. If we were to continue straight, that turns into Rouge Park Drive and it goes through and goes to some of the areas in the heart of the park. But yeah, still pretty cool. And then there was quite a bit of turkeys over there. So yeah, now we're on we're on the western edge of of the park as we have residential neighborhoods off to the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see it. Yeah, Rouge Park is gigantic. I think it's smaller than like New York Central Park, but still, at least for Detroit, it's the largest park in the Detroit city limits. Yep, so we will continue. And yep, this is Plymouth Road here. It is interesting how there are different parts of Outer Drive which are no longer boulevards. But it mostly is one, though. <clears throat> and up here is where Rouge Park comes back out to. So yeah, we're over near like the northern end of Rouge Park. We should be getting 
close to I-96, which is the next freeway which West Outer Drive comes up to. And yep, yeah, and this is the Rouge River as well too. It's like, once it gets down toward the Dearborn area, there, there's different branches of the Rouge River. This is one of them. And they eventually all converge together in like the Dearborn area and then you just have a single Rouge River which heads all the way out to the Detroit River. Yep, and here is the interchange with I-96 and also Schoolcraft Road. Where Schoolcraft Road is like the service drive for I-96. And I'm amazed I was able to make the traffic lights here. So I-96 East would take you back or take you into downtown Detroit or towards downtown Detroit. I-96 West would take you out toward Bradford Township and Livonia and eventually heads its way out toward the, the Lansing area. And you can also get, take, take I-96 West over to M14 and that'll take over to Ann Arbor. So that'll be the last freeway we will be crossing over in this video. Okay, so here's another interesting part of Outer Drive because to continue on Outer Drive, we have to make a right turn here. If we were to continue straight at this traffic light, which thankfully since we're making a right, we can turn on red here. Continuing straight, that turns into Lassa Road. So that is pretty much where Lassa Road, for the most part, begins. As it eventually heads north all the way up to like Southfield and Bloomfield, Bloomfield Hills in that area. Mm. Yeah, it is interesting that once you enter the Detroit City Elements, that outer drive wiggles around quite a bit. Like, I remember seeing this too on East Outer Drive when I filmed that video a while back. And good timing, the light just turned green. continues its way to the left this time but this time it's more it's more of an obvious curve because you're not gonna easily go off the off the road by accident here and this is Fenkel Avenue which going west out of Trey it turns into five miles Scotty Simpson's Fish and Chips, which is one of the most famous fish and chip spots in all of the Metro Detroit area. Which they have some really good fish and chips over there. I remember going there last, close to this time last year.
Okay, and here is Grand River. So this is Grand River or also M5. And it looks like we will have to stop at this light. Because yeah, Grand River is a much larger road. It's like, yeah, there was a guy at that intersection that was trying to sell new like a newspaper or something to, to earn money or something. And it's like, usually most people usually don't offer anything, which, and then of course, yeah, I end up not doing that. And it was a good decision on my part because after he passed by our cars, he started, he did like some major coughing or something. So I was like, yeah, I'd rather not get sick. <laughs> Yeah, got some nice homes over in here too. It's like one thing I've noticed that on, especially even on on the east part of Outer Drive, there it goes by some nice homes too, or nicer homes that I've like in the Detroit area. Here is McNichols, or six miles, so I'll have to stop here. All right, so we will keep going. And we have another curve up ahead. crossing back over the Southfield Freeway in a minute. <clears throat> yeah, I can see the traffic light way off in the distance. Oh, good. The light's already red. Maybe I won't have to stop for very long at it. Northwest Campus for Wayne Community College off to the left and even better luck we don't we don't even have to stop at this light so this is the Southfield Freeway so now we're crossing back over it and yet now we are out of the or I mean, I'm sorry now we're we've passed over the last freeway in this video like for real this time So after I get done with this video, I'm going to be heading back down off camera down to Corktown, Michigan, because I'm going to get some lunch down there. And then I'm planning to film a couple different like walking tour videos today. I'm going to do one down in Corktown. And then I'm also going to head up to, I'm thinking Ferndale, like, because, I, because now that I have the, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera, I started using it down in Houston. Did a few walking tours down there. So now I want to start doing them here in the Metro Detroit area. So yeah, but the walkie tours, it'll give me, a, it'll allow me to do different types of content here in the Detroit area. I was considering doing a walking tour of Royal Oak today, but they got the big ice festival going on there, so it'll be a little crowded. But I figure since it's, a, since it's warmed up quite a bit, it's nice and sunny, it's a good day to do a walking tour. It is a little chilly out, but not too bad, though. Yep, and here is Greenfield. Yep, and then yeah, on the right. 
right, that is Renaissance High School. So one of the many high schools in the Detroit public school system. And what a, I just realized I think, yeah, it's like I keep lying about crossing over freeways because we have another freeway we're gonna be crossing over. So I feel like I need I need to be quiet now. <laughs> oh well. Because yeah, our drive goes over a lot of freeways. There's about another minute or two we're gonna be crossing over the lodge freeway. But yeah, like that's a freeway I, I completely forgot about. And over here, this is Sinai Grace Hospital. Looks like, yeah, we will be stopping at this light here. This is Schaefer. And once again, our drive makes another, another curve. Yep, and over here, this is where the Lodge Freeway is. And nice, I don't have to stop at this light. Oh, just barely made it though. So just went over the Lodge Freeway. Lodge Freeway Northwest heads out towards Southfield. Eventually up toward I-696. And then the Lodge Freeway going Southeast will take you into downtown Detroit. And then I swear that is the last freeway we will be crossing over this video. If we cross over any more freeways in this video, I'm, I'm then this will be the last the last driving video I will ever film on my YouTube channel. <laughs> and I'm saying that because I know for real we will not be crossing over, over any more freeways. Like that's the truth now. So that way I can continue filming these driving videos for you guys. Now that squirrel got to cross over pretty quickly, so that's good, so I didn't have to slow down for him. And here is Seven Mile. <clears throat> so it is pretty interesting how far north Outer Drive heads up to. Okay, and I need to get back over to the right lane because we have another curve here. So this will be the last curve for West Outer Drive. We're just a two, two thirds of a mile to the south of eight mile. And then we, yeah, we, from here, we only have like another mile and a half left to go. So if this is Myers Road here. up at this random residential street here. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll continue. And coming up ahead, yeah, that this is Wyoming Avenue. And good timing, this light just turned green. So we are in the last mile of uh, the western portion of Outer Drive. 
So again, yeah, there is an eastern part of Outer Drive, which I filmed a few years ago. And that resumes east of, like, I kind of east of I-75. Because as I was saying earlier, there is a gap between the two Outer Drives. And yep, I see the end of West Outer Drive over there. And I'm probably gonna make a left turn at, at Livernois, so I'm gonna go ahead and get over. So I'm gonna hop on eight mile and I'm gonna probably, so I can get back down into Detroit, I'll probably take eight mile over to like 75 or something. All right, so we have now driven the entirety of West Outer Drive starting or as far back as Jefferson Avenue and E-Course and heading all the way to Livernoy Avenue here in Detroit in the Bagley neighborhood. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of West Outer Drive today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button and uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button so that we don't miss out on any future adventures. Well, thank you for watching and this is Scott of the Scott Man signing out.